if you really need the snack, the sugar snack, what you do is another hack that I call put clothing on your carbs. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean? So first of all, carbs. Carbs are two types of foods. Starches, so that's bread, pasta, rice, potatoes, oats, or sugars. Anything that tastes sweet from a banana to chocolate cake. Those are carbs, okay? When you eat them on their own, for example, a slice of cake on its own or a bowl of pasta on its own, well, carbs break down to glucose molecules. So those naked carbs, very quickly, they end up as lots of glucose in your bloodstream, therefore a glucose spike. What you want to do instead is put some clothing on your carbs. And the clothing are proteins, fats, or fiber. Before. Or, or with them. You really? can have them before or with them. So for example... So you could have a bite of cake, but then have something else. Yes. You could, fat within that. Yeah, you could have like some Greek yogurt with the chocolate cake. Or with the bowl of pasta, add some mm. chicken or some cheese or some spinach, right? Put clothing on your carbs. Don't eat it naked. Exactly. Never eat your carbs naked so that they don't cause as big of a glucose spike. Because when you put clothing on those carbs, digestion happens more slowly. Mm. So you're still eating the carb that you love, with less impact on your glucose levels. And this is just one of many different hacks that I have that help us eat the stuff we love with fewer consequences on our physical and mental health. Mm, that's powerful. So the more glucose spikes we have on a daily basis, and the more we have over time, yeah. it causes us to live less. Yeah. It won't allow us to live longer, is what I'm hearing you say. It causes us to age faster. Really? Through a process called glycation, yeah. What does glycation mean? So glycation and glucose kind of sound like the same word. They're similar. Glucose, glycation. And this is why. First of all, before we talk about glycation, I have to explain something to you. So you know when you put a chicken in the oven and it goes from pink to cooked to brown? Mm -hmm. What actually happened is that in the oven, it glycated. Glycation was, is the cooking process mm -hmm. of the chicken. Now, did you know that as a human being, from the moment you're born, you slowly glycate, you slowly cook. You start to cook. Yes, like a chicken in the oven. And then when you're fully cooked, you die. I know it sounds crazy, but it is true. And on the inside, you're actually browning. Huh. So if you look at the cartilage of a baby, it's white. If you look at the cartilage of somebody who's 100 years old, it's brown. Wow. It's been glycated. Glycation is cooking and it's aging. Now, why am I telling you this? Because every time you have a glucose spike, it accelerates glycation. Glucose causes this cooking, causes this glycation, mm. causes this aging. So the more glucose spikes you have, the faster you age. And this shows on your skin as wrinkles, right? I'm actually 85 years old, but you can't tell because <laughs> I don't have glucose spikes. <laughs> and it also ages your organs within. And that's just one of the few things that happen when you have too many glucose spikes over time. Wow. 